I'm super excited, as usual, because we got some boxes. Now, I did contact my mailman this morning, and I was like, dude, what's up? I got boxes. Are you going to come by early, or let me know where to meet you? And he texted me back, and he said, dude, I called in today. So, sorry. Well, if you remember, I had the phone number of the guy that took his route when he was on vacation, so I called, or I texted him, like, dude, you don't happen to have my boxes on your truck, do you? And he's like, yep. So, I went and met him up, and uh, it's funny, he's like, yeah, I saw your boxes at the office today, and I, I said, hey, I'm going to take those, because you guys don't know what to do with them, because they get hidden in a certain location on my property. But anyway, so I went and met up with him, and we got some boxes to open. Let's adjust this down a little bit. Hello. Oh. We got colored lights back again. Yes. I'm so excited. Like, it just makes all the difference in the world. Like, the white lights, they're cool. But colored Christmas lights... That's what's up. Speaking of what's up, boom! Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Or if you're old to this channel and just haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it. We are 35 subs away from doing a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway at 400 subs. We haven't done one for a while. Um, just kind of been floating around 350, 360 subs for a while. And uh, I want to give you guys something. I want to return my appreciation to the people that have been supporting me and watching my videos. So tell your friends, tell your pets. Like rent an airplane that has one of those little tail streamers going off of it. Subscribe to God Ear Pops. I'm not kidding. You, you really need to do that. But yeah, thumbs up, that helps get more interactions with the video, leave a comment down below, we're going in a, in a different order, sorry, I'm just so excited about these boxes, and hit that notification bell, that way when I drop a video like this one, as soon as it's live, you'll get an alert on your mobile device that hey, God Your Pops has a new video. And whatever the title of that video is so and then you know I might go live it is the middle of my weekend there are pretty good chances that I might decide to go live at some point so and when I do you will be notified so yesterday's video was sweet we got this amazing I did take it out of the hard stack because in the wall of pops right here, there's no room for a hard stack. It throws off the balance. So we did put it in the spastic collectibles. Can you see that? Yep, there it is. Soft protector. But yeah the metallic OG Batman and when I did take it out of the hard stack I looked at the box and the box is absolutely mint I would give it a 9.72 9.72 out of 10 sweet I can't tell if we're blurry or not let's pause just to be safe maybe we're I don't know um, the pop king ball out of boxes out of box pops mystery box should start shipping today fingers crossed mine is one of the first ones because I was one of the people that bought the first round so I don't know if that matters or not but it doesn't matter it's gonna get here when it gets here and 
two of the mystery boxes that I bought last week. The people that have created these mystery boxes, they're a little bit slow in shipping, which is okay. Um, the House of 1000 Pops, she made a tracking number on Friday, but it didn't ship over the weekend. I contacted her today and she's like, yeah, it's going to go out today or tomorrow morning. So, and then Papa's Pop Shop. I was really, really, really hoping that would get here on one of these days off because I have really good feelings about that. That was a hundred dollar box and uh, I'm really hoping to get the Beat It Michael Jackson just to look at it before I sell it or waffle it. I might even keep it, who knows. And yes, there is Christmas music playing in the background, but yeah, that uh, I'm really excited about that Pop King Paul box. You know, I talked about this a little bit in some of my other videos. At first I was like, oh, man, I, I don't want a pop without the box. But there's so many cool ones that, you know, it would be fine to have one of the Wizard of Oz pops out of box. And I might be able to find a replacement box. Who knows? But then there is also so many grails that even without a box, people that want those pops badly would be happy to pay half of the price of the pop just to own the pop. I wouldn't pay more than half the price if it didn't have a box. It might even be less that I'd be willing to pay, depending on how big the grail is. I don't know. Everything will figure it all out in the end. I got a couple people that are making me some AOK -okay boxes. Super excited about that. Some more comics. I am supposed to be getting a giveaway win from Tom Tom's Pops. But that hasn't shipped yet as far as I know. And he does have a comic book mystery box right now, which looks very, very intriguing. It's $35 shipped. There's only 16 boxes. One of those 16 boxes has a $180 slab in it. There's another one that has a certified signature comic in it that's worth 60 bucks. The value of every box is going to be double, basically. Maybe a little less. I don't know. Go check him out. He's a really good guy. I like him a lot. Bought one of his mystery boxes before. Yeah. I got up today at 4.30. Played a game of League. Uh, 6 o'clock. Mowed the lawn. Sprayed some weeds. Just my normal Saturday. It's a beautiful, beautiful day out. Super sunny. It's going to be freaking hot today, though. So, thank goodness for... Thanks, science, for air conditioning. Tomorrow is going to be close to 100 degrees here in Yakima. So, I don't like that. If it's over 75 degrees, I'm not happy. I don't like heat. I live in the wrong place for that. But it is what it is. This central Washington gets hot in the summer. But yeah, I don't know. I like cold. Because if it's cold, you can add layers. When it's hot, there's only so many layers you can remove. And you're still going to be freaking hot. Am I right? I'm right. Oh, uh, one of the Batman Pops that we pulled yesterday is right here. The Steampunk Batman. Um, I mentioned in the video that that had to been from a comic series because they didn't have the normal cast of characters on the back. And uh, my buddy 
savage finale thomas davis he reached out to me and said yep that's from some series the gaslight something or other and uh he said that he was going to add that to my aok -okay. okay spoiler i'm getting an aok -okay from thomas i can't wait for that the last one we got from him was amazing absolutely amazing we got this slab signed batman and yes so i reached for it this, this wasn't staged i literally had this right next to my monitor so i look at it every day and i love it i absolutely love it once again thomas thank you so much that was such a nice gift. It was so thoughtful and well thought out because the stuff he sent me were just, they were Batman stuff. And I loved it. I loved it so much. So I can't wait to see what he sends me this next one. And I can't wait to get the steampunk comic because I got the Batman Who Laughs right over here with three books. And then I'm going to have the steampunk with a book or two. I don't know. Yeah. Someday, someday, I'll get that Zurinar comic book. Episode 131 or 133, I think. But that thing is a little bit expensive. But I'd love to have that accompanying my Zurinar Batman. And then also, uh, like I get mystery boxes and I fill this wall up in front of my grail wall with pops and then I remove them and this glaring hole, my missing pink chrome Batman. I think I'm going to have to save up for that. I think we might have to forego some mystery boxes for a while. So that I can get that pink from Batman because I need it in my life. I need to complete the set of Chrome Batmans. Whatever. All right, so we got three boxes. In this video, we're gonna only open one or two of them. I'm gonna make another video so that I can stretch it out because this is all that's coming this week. They didn't stagger like I thought they were going to. And then, like I mentioned, those two other mystery boxes. They didn't ship out as fast as I thought they were going to. So, that's cool. That just means we have three boxes coming. I knew the Pop King Paul box wasn't going to ship till today. But I was hoping those other two would. So, we got some cool stuff coming. Ain't gonna lie. But what do we have here? I'm sure that's what you're all asking. And thank you for fast forwarding up to this point. This is a new company. J Navo Toys. He's on Instagram. J Navo. Check it out. I'll put the Instagram thing across the screen here. Um, he's been dropping a lot of mystery boxes lately. And they sell out pretty quick. He's establishing a name for himself in the Funko Mystery Box community pretty fast. His boxes are pretty cool. Most of the ones he does are $25 hit or miss. This one was a little bit different. This one was a $15 plus shipping. So it was like $20 and 38 cents. Um, it was also a hit or miss, but a tricky hit or miss. It was a 50-50 chance of getting a $30 pop or a common. There is a pop in this run that has a value of $60. There are no glam shots. Just straight up, you can get a $30 pop or a common. Top prize is a $60 pop. Didn't say what it was. This one right here. This was... Okay, so this is a new company to me. I just... People follow people. There's like, you see people promoting stuff. So I saw this. 
I saw somebody open up one of his boxes. Allison opened up five of his boxes, and they were pretty cool. Those were the $25 ones, which he did very well. Um, so, last Wednesday, I went on a shopping spree, and I bought a bunch of Mr. Boxes. We got this one. This is the Nerd Merch Shop. Put it right up there. Boom. Nerd Merch Shop. Or maybe I'll do Star Wars style, and it'll be going like that. This was their Trio Mystery Box. This was $40 plus shipping. Um, there's three pops in here. Trio. There was like Korra or something from some movie called Korra. There's a Beerus in here. There's supposed to be a ton of Grails. They're not Grails, but Chases. Um, there's something heavy in here. This weighs one pound, 13 ounces. One of the things I like about them is they're from Oregon. My home away from home-ish. Like I grew up in Washington, moved to Oregon, lived in Oregon for 15 years. 18 years. A while. And then now I'm back home. And there's their little logo that they have stamped on the box, which is sweet. So please go check them out. I'm not sure how often they do mystery boxes, but I think when you guys see what I get out of here, you might be interested in getting one of their boxes. And then for the next video, we got a Smyro box. This was their hump day. Hump day. But this is going to be in the next video. So, first box we're going to open, and thank you for joining me. Thanks for fast forwarding up to this point. We are going to open this box, the J Nova box, and I think we're blurry again for some reason. All right, so the J Nova box, J Novo Toys LLC, fifteen dollar, hit or miss, fifty fifty, thirty dollar pop, or not. There could be a $60 pop in here. That would be sweet. I need a new camera. Like, I'm getting tired of the blur going on, the out of focus nonsense. All right, so there's a sticker. So hopefully that means we got one of the $30 ones. Ready? At the same time, we're going to see this. Boom. That's pretty sweet. My first alien pop. The Funko Specialty Series Xenomorph. Alien 40 Anniversary. Really? It's been out for that long? No. Did it really come out in 79? So this came out last year, but this is a really, really cool pop. I like this pop a lot. I'm going to hang on to this for a little while just to enjoy it and look at it, but this will end up being for sale because I'm not going down that road. You know, derping with Derek, he likes the Alien and Predators, and so do I. I think they're amazing looking pops. This is my first real life encounter with one of them and I can understand why because these things are freaking awesome all right let's see how you did let's look up Xeno morph it's really sweet it's a really really cool thing okay well that was a loss <laughs> oh, so this is a blue metallic one. We didn't do too bad. This is a $10 pop. We paid $15 plus shipping. We had a chance of getting a $30 pop. Like if this was a Hello Kitty or a Fortnite or an ad. Uh, $10 anime pop, I'd be pissed. 
but we got a blue metallic alien, which is fucking awesome. I'm sorry for swearing, but I'm actually going to keep this just because I think that's awesome. You guys know I love metallic pops. It's kind of dim in my room, so I couldn't really tell that it's metallic, but... And we got Christmas music playing. So, that's pretty sweet. I'm actually very happy. I would have never bought this. But, and yes, I'm actually going to keep this. I'm not going to bother selling a pop that I'll end up getting seven or eight bucks for on eBay that I think is this cool. Sweet. Are there any stickers? Oh, there's a card. Let's make our camera blurry. J Navo Toys. There it is. Your one stop shop for toys and collectibles. There you go. That's his information. Follow him on Instagram. And my camera goes in focus. What on earth is going on? Um, he's, he does drops all the time. I was, I was actually kind of pissed off yesterday because I missed his latest drop. He did a $25 drop last night. And I was like doing a whole bunch of stuff. I was recording videos. I was participating in chat on Wink Inks. 2k giveaway stream and I totally spaced off that he was doing a drop otherwise I would have got a couple of those but apparently he's doing drops all the time like I think every Sunday so go check him out we didn't hit the win I don't know why I'm pointing back there but in my opinion we paid $15 to get a $10 pop. But, like I said, I would have never actually bought this. Because I didn't realize how amazing this pop is. This pop makes me happy. And I know that's weird because it's a very creepy pop. But, it's just super freaking cool. Alright. So, Nerd Merch Shop. There's their little stamp, which is pretty sweet. Um, seriously? Okay, there we go. They say they're in Portland, but uh, they're actually in Milwaukee, Oregon, which is right outside of Portland. Oregon was a really nice state. I liked it. Very green. Very mild weather. It's pretty much the same as Washington, to be honest. Except for whatever reason, the Oregon coastline is much different than Washington's. The Oregon coastline is much more accessible and rocky. There's a lot of rock formations. It's just an observation. But yeah, I lived in Cannon Beach, Oregon for like eight years. If you don't know what Cannon Beach, Oregon is, Google it. It's a tiny little tourist town. I'm not going to go into why I lived there or what I did, but I lived there for a long time. And uh, it's the, one of the weirdest things is how much you take for granted where you live. Like people pay big bucks to go there for a vacation. The houses that I lived in when I was there, one of them had an ocean view. I lived a block and a half away from the ocean. There's a constant noise in the town of the waves crashing, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it was 
it was good, but uh, it got to the point where I needed to get out of there. I needed to do something with my life. So I went back to college at 40 years old, and I got a degree in environmental science, and now I work at a jail in Yakima making really bad food. It's not bad, it's just it's not gourmet food. It's sustainable food. It's nutrient rich calorie stuff, whatever. A lot of soy. Let's go ahead and see, like I said. This is really heavy right here. So we're gonna open up like this. Where did I say it was heavy? Right there. Yeah, okay. So three pops in here. The ducks are all lined up in a row. Speaking of ducks, I forget a duck. All right. So the first one you're gonna pull out, which is in a protector, and the tab is open. Which I don't know why people do that. Well, I mean, you can damage pops with the tabs. I have almost done it one time. I was trying to get that tab pushed in and it like went right up against the lid and I was like back off back off okay I am super excited to have this I love this show I love this show this is such a good show and I had the it's been a while since I watched it I had the Siri the E3 exclusive glow-in-the-dark Siri and I didn't know what was going on so I ended up selling it I wish I would have kept it because I hadn't watched the show yet and I saw somebody else pull some Witcher pops and I'm watching the show one of my favorite shows of all time I just love it it's got action it's kind of campy there's humor the storyline is great can't wait for the next season there's a video game I have not played the video game but Boom! To me, this is a win because, dude, I've received two, like, this is a good day. I've received two pops to add to my collection that aren't Batman or Batgirl or Rock. Because, yes, I'm keeping the Witcher pop. That's pretty sweet. Let's check out the condition of it. It's a good day, guys. Condition-wise, it feels clean. I love that clean box feeling. And, uh, you know, there's like just very, very tiny push-in right there. It's near mint. This protector is very cloudy so hopefully pop shield pop protectors are back for sale on seven bucks a pop and if they are make sure that you click the link down in my description because if you click that link and purchase some pop shield pop protectors from that I get like a seven percent commission which is pretty sweet it doesn't cost you any more money it just gives me a little kickback, which is nice. But this is just awesome. This is probably the big hit out of the box. I mean, it has to be. I don't know. Because I thought that this pop had some value. I don't remember, we paid $40 for this. That was not the one that I thought was heavy. All right, next one. Don't look. This one feels heavy. All right. It's not the Chase version, but my favorite version of the Joker. I mean, it's a very, very close tie with Heath Ledger, but I love the 1989 Batman movie. The Tim Burton one. It was just... It changed everything, if you, if you think about it. That movie kind of 
started the whole DC roller coaster of movies. But, yep, that's the Jack Nicholson Joker. Just the common one, not the chase. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I always ask that of all my prayer. I just like the sound of it. So many good lines. This town needs an enema. He said that. That's sweet. Again, I don't know what type of pop protectors these are, but these things are like, they're just cloudy. You see that? Those are only good for shipping. They are not good for display. Look how much better that looks now. And this, again, is in mint condition. I'll probably keep this, to be honest. Like, I buy mystery boxes primarily to have fun opening them and make video content and then sell them. That's the plan, so that I can buy more mystery boxes, buy better equipment, buy amazing Christmas lights, get a better camera. I don't know. But sometimes it just happens where I get pops that I want to keep. We have to keep this. We have to. What is happening all right, last pop. Let's hope it's like a Beerus that I can sell. All right. Lucius Malfoy. The Harry Potter Overseas Edition. He's holding prophecy, which I don't know what that is. Is there any type of sticker or advertising in here? Not. Alright. Alright, so we paid $40 again. The cloudy box. Get out. This one does need to. Okay. This one, I do need to take this pop out of here and re-compress the box because it has the not folded correctly little mound here, which ends up getting scratch marks all over it. Fortunately, there are no scratch marks. All these boxes are mint. Like, super, super crispy. Lucius Malfoy holding prophecy. So I watched all the movies a long time ago, but I don't remember. Ooh. I kind of like that. Lucius Malfoy. Can it focus? Focus. Come on. You can do it camera I believe in you okay I no longer believe in you cool pop I like the deep uh, I don't like his head his head's kind of boring but the robe the little orb which is apparently the prophecy it's got a little staff with a dragon head on it all right, let's see how we did in value for our $40 investment. I think we did just fine. And I just saw, again, the uh, Xenomorph Blue Metallic. I'm super excited about this. We gotta get that shelf. I don't have any place to display these things, man. All right, let's start with the Joker. It might not even have a price yet. It's the Joker. And it is number 337. It's so cool that I got that. It's got a value of 14 bucks. 
go ahead and add that to the collection because we're keeping it. And then let's go back to the Xenomorph and add that to the collection because we are keeping that. When I actually click Add to Collection on PPG, boom, that's that's final. It's in my collection. Um, this will not be in my collection. We're not adding Lucius Malfoy to the collection. So if you want that pop, let me know. Forty. It's a twenty-four dollar pop. Let's see what like it must be. What is it? What's the date on this? It's last year, but there's there's been one sale in the last ninety days. It was selling a lot early in the year. All over the place. The auctions were low. The direct sales were 26, 35, 45, 40, 34, 31, 48. And that's the actual sticker. Oh, FYE. Oh, it's from For Your Entertainment. But the overseas. Which not any one of these pictures has the overseas. Oh, there's one. The overseas one sold for auction at 20 bucks, which is pretty impressive. Okay, there's the overseas stickers. But yeah, it's just all over the place. Outright sales in the 20s, auctions in the single digit or teens. So we will gladly call that a $24 pop. Which brings our total between the Joker and Malfoy to 38 bucks. This is a $40 box, guys. That means if this is worth more than two dollars, we won. But you know what? We won anyway because we got two pops out of the collection. Hello. And I think this is worth more. I don't know. Yeah, twenty-five bucks. We got $63 worth of pops out of a $40 mystery box from the Nerd Merch Shop. I think you should go check them out. I really do. And it's funny, there were no chases. This was supposed to be the chase box. There's lots of chases. Guess what? We didn't get a chase, but we got $63 worth of pops. The best part about it and the worst part about it is I got two pops I'm keeping and I got a pop that now I have to freaking get all the rest of them. Thanks Nerd Merch Shop. So now I have to get all the Witchers and I'm sure some of you watching are like, Ross is going to buy my Witcher pops. <laughs> Shut up. I will. No, actually, I will buy your Witcher, Witcher Pop. So hit me up if you got some Witcher Pops for sale. You know what I'm talking to. I'll trade a Witcher Pop for Lucius. That's not going to be the highlight pop as we go out. That is. Alright, so I love this video. I love these boxes that I got. This was awesome. This is like one of my top five. Enjoyment. Happiness. 
videos. The fact that I got three pops out of four that I'm keeping, that says something. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and sign off. I'm going to hop right on to the next video and record that Smile World box, but that's not going to come out for a day or so. So, sorry about that. But we got to go out with a grail for this box. So, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you soon.